Like this. <laughs> yep. People think it was uh, frozen, but it's not frozen, but you know, that, that's me. Acting like it's frozen. Good evening, everybody. How y'all doing today? This is Yusuf Chowdhury, once again, tuning in from San Antonio, Texas. Uh, give me a second here. Let me see if this thing works. All right, it's working. Okay, okay, okay. What's the topic today? Is your website optimized? Yeah, same question again. Is your website optimized? Is it? Uh, just give me, give me, give me, give me like a minute, or, a minute or less. A minute or less. Less than a minute. What happened? Of course I'm live, my man. <laughs> it's all good. You don't have to say sorry. You can make all this stuff. Just make a mess. Just, just, are you serious? Just, are you serious? just make sure that thing don't fall on my head. <clears throat> Let's see. Tawseef. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Akhi, what's going on, my man? How are ya? What is new? What do you want to learn today? I'm still on the subject of is your website optimized? <clears throat> okay, we're still on the same subject. So if anybody has a website that you want me to look at it, Feel free to put it on the bottom, on the comment section. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a quick revision uh, on what did we learn from last week by looking at some of these upside, especially when I talked about anytime you want to analyze a website, first thing you do, you look at the basic simple stuff, right? You look at the basic simple stuff like um, the functionalities, the how it's been used, uh, the visual, right? Uh, are the content relevant? Does it address? Does it address who you are? Maria, welcome back. How you doing? Did you make the changes that I gave you? Okay, I'm doing like a, a lot of stuff, a lot of weird noise noises, right? So, did you uh, make the changes that I gave you last week or this week? Did you make those? Did you implement them? I hope you did. Okay. Let's see. Charles, what's going on, my man? How are you, bro? Uh, we, uh, did you uh, join the WP Beginner Facebook page and a uh, Facebook group page and also the, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, WordPress Help and Share. Okay, let's see. I just want to know how they are ranking for keywords digital marketing agency in Jeddah. All right, let's go and check it out. HF, can you check our website? Absolutely, I can check your website. Go ahead and put it in your, in your comment section. I will check your website from the user experience and also from the on-page SEO and maybe even ranking. Okay, you did, Charles? Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and check this uh uh, website here, Tausif shared. He was asking me. Uh, he was asking me. I want to know how they are ranking for keyword digital marketing agency in Jeddah. Jeddah, by the way, it's in Saudi Arabia. Okay. All right. So this is the website. Uh, what is it called? Karas. Uh, what is it? Karaspan. Karaspond. Karaspond. I don't know. We implement your imagination. How do you implement imagination? We are digital. Okay. All right. One second here. Uh, let's see. Paradise. Uh, okay. I will definitely check HF after I check this one. So don't leave. Okay. Pay attention to this one because it will give you some ideas as well. All right. Oh, wow. What is this? This. Oh, look at this. This. Uh, Ah, this is very creative. The the changing the oh wow, this is very nice. The look at the error. I'm moving my mouse. Ah, this is very oh wow, this is very never seen. Oh, this is very creative. I, I like it. Yeah, if I move my mouse, it also move. Oh oh wow, this is fascinating. So it doesn't scroll down, but it changes. It's like a slider. That's very I never seen a slider like that. Okay, so <laughs> never seen a slider like that. Uh, home, who we are, uh, and uh, let's see, portfolio. 
Oh man, that's slow. They need to work on that. Okay, I, I love the design. I love the, the they have all these animation, but I hope it's not. Uh, if it's HTML5, that'll be good. I hope it's not Flash. And scroll down. Okay, there you go. Creative, uh, digitally focused, creative driven. Uh, they may need to make this capital. Okay. Uh, mission, man, I can't even read this. Okay. Uh, vision, mission, uh, value. I like this, the graphic stuff. They're very good in design. Oh my God, this is so small. I can't even see why. The, okay. Okay. Why these are the same? Media branding, business solution, brand, creative. And look at that. Bilal Saeed, Abdurrahman Ma'roof. Khalid Al... Uh, let's see. Let's see. Hagbani. Wow. That's very creative. Okay. So they have a amazing team right there. And look at their company, mashallah. Oh, look at Nivea, Big Corp. Oh, look at these big companies. Uh, Jaguar. So, of course, they might be ranking for al -Baik. Oh, my favorite place, al -Baik. Yes, yes. Okay. So, you can see all these big companies. All right, all right. So, yeah. And they, they, they are for sure, they have imagination. They're very creative. Few pages. Uh, okay, cool. So now, uh, Tosif wants to know how they're ranking. Let's go ahead and check uh, SEMrush real quick. So they basically do mostly uh, design, right? Uh, I think they only focus on uh, design and uh, they talked about media and some other stuff. <clears throat> so it's a, it's a big agency, right, uh, Tosif? I have a feeling that they their project probably in millions or six figures just by looking at those companies. How to find they have. One second. Trying to log in. Come on, come on. What the what the what happened to my OSA once again? Yeah. My fingers are too fat today. Password is not wrong. Come on. There you go. Sucker. I like the hero photo effects. Yeah, you see that website, bro? Uh, Charles, it's very nice, right? This company here. It's an, uh, what is it built on? Uh, and it is built on... on WordPress, look at that. So I gotta, I'm gotta. i definitely going to share this with my team to see what did they use for those images to change. But I wonder how it looks on the mobile device though, right? Uh, so this company is very good with creative, but for some reason, I need to understand what what, what, does, what does it say here? Cara, correspond, oh, like correspond, correspond. Yeah, don't be creative, correspond, okay. So let's see how they're ranking first, though, see if, okay? Yeah, it's built on WordPress. Isn't that amazing, uh, Charles? Just check, look it up, man. This is uh, uh, very, very smart. I mean, there's so much creativity here going on. But the texts are very small. But let me see how they're ranking. Let me see how are they ranking. Since they are in Saudi, I'm not going to use uh, what you call it. The ranking uh, in US. I'm gonna check the ranking in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, that's how they call it. Huh? It's, 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 it's actually, I'm gonna look at Arabia Saudi. That's how you pronounce it. And if you all have any question, feel free to ask while I'm analyzing. I want to see how it's doing in terms of ranking. So in the U.S., only 27 keyword, UK4, UA1. So it's kind of popular in uh, U.S. for some reason. Okay, but they don't get a lot of traffic, though. Only like 20 hits a month. That's very low. And for companies like that, sometime really, this is another proof to show you that sometime these sort of things might not work. But if they have bigger clients, and the bigger clients basically refer and recommend and that's how they sell and that's how they get you know huge huge clients in fact i work with some traditional advertising agency here in san antonio texas this company been in business for like more than almost 30 years 
and don't, don't even have a marketing, right? But they got a lot of huge, huge customers, like clients, because they usually take like only 10 clients per year, and uh, for them, it's working, okay? So, um, Tawseef, uh, social media marketing, Jeddah, they are, they are num they're on the first page. Okay, so somebody is looking for a company from Jid, from U.S., starting in U.S., but they're looking for companies in Jeddah, social media marketing, Jeddah, creative, ag creative agency, Jeddah, uh, social media marketing, that's it. These are the three keywords that's on the first page, Tawseef, in U.S., okay? So, small traffic, but if they close big clients, that's absolutely. I've, I've, I've known some traditional agencies, Charles, their marketing, like, really sucks, but they have big big clients like i'm talking about in fact one of the agencies told me if i'm gonna if i'm gonna help with the seo they don't want more than two customers per year <laughs> okay they don't want more than two customers because the project that they perform is like close to like million to million and a half or two million dollar project right so to see if this one in us for the three keywords uh social and creative on the first page but on the second page agency in jidda digital marketing ksa so that as a digital marketing agency or creative, they're doing very well in Saudi. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch to, let's see. Here we go. So let's see how they are uh, doing. How's the ranking working in Saudi? And nothing, believe it. Wow, look, they're not. So according to this tool and in, in, in Saudi, it doesn't really rank. But from outside the Saudi, it does rank. I'm going to have to use something else later on. Maybe H should have to see to give me a different number. It's possible that the SEMrush probably is not able to grab any data from there. Okay. So, and what would cause the ranking? There could be many factors. Okay. It could be the content. It could be the name. Uh, to Yeah. Yes. I've worked with agencies, Charles, like a traditional advertising agencies that they do not want more than two clients a year. Okay. So, uh, So when I used to do consultation for these uh, local advertising agencies, the client that we work with was like uh, Coca-Cola, Costco, Sam's Club, Frost Bank, Whataburger, that kind of those kind of companies, right? That they work with. So this thing here, uh, look, even the content uh, is not that much, but it's still Google is ranking them. Because they do have possibly backlink from those, uh, what you call it, uh, big sites. They don't even have, do they have a content on the page? Look, all these, you see, all these big companies are clickable. Portfolio, very nice. Run more clients through my company, brother. <laughs> okay. So, um, they have the chat, chat bot right there. Yeah, let's go ahead and check. Um, so in terms of ranking, they don't, as you can see, from the SEMrush, they don't rank, but they have a brand name and they're brand established, and they, they probably have a sale team, whatever they do. Uh, that's one. But if you check their uh, optimization, because the agency is so creative, everything you see is creative. It's kind of relevant from the terms of the creativity. But if you look at the optimization, it's not done. It is not done at all. Or let's go ahead and prove myself wrong right here. Oh my God, look at the, the title tag. Correspond 360 Digital Marketing Agency. That's the keyword on the title tag. Okay, so this is good. The title tag is very good. Correspond, 360 degree digital market agency, Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. So the title tag is fine. This thing here, this thing here doesn't work anymore. Google does not look for it. Maybe Bing or Yahoo, but that doesn't count. So this should be completely out there. So I was wrong. They do have a on page SEO. Their meta tag, digital market agency in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, offering digital marketing, integrated social media and marketing, website and web development and app development, media buying, e commerce, video production, SEO, searching optimization. Search engine marketing and branding. So there you go. The optimization on the home page is good. Okay, so good job on that one. Correspond. And with your Favicon and HTTPS. And let's check more diagnostic here. 
yep, they did everything right. So there you go, Tom. See if they did proper, because they do provide search engine. They did alternative text for all the images. That's very good, even though the text ratio is low. And they have, oh, there's one problem right here, the robot.txt file. They got the search console and the analytics. So, yeah, they, they, they optimized their page perfectly and properly. If I go to who we are, let's go ahead and uh, you also have to look and see how long this, biz, this company be in business. Okay, you also have to look and see how long they've been in business. Uh, huh? It doesn't matter, man. It's like, uh, it's like somebody's like releasing gas to keep, to keep me safe. Uh, who we are so this is this is a problem right here so first of all the page title on their second page who we are goes more than 70 percent which is incorrect even then google is ranking them here uh you don't need this one and the meta tag is duplicated let's look at the uh yeah the title tag is too much and oh this one 75 images don't have alternative text, but the text ratio is very good, 26%. So this minor optimization needs to be taken care of. Okay. So let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, there you go. Did you put all the wires? Yeah. yeah. That's, that's good. That's more organized. That's better. Looking better. Okay, right now I'm just basically checking for uh, disability. Yep, that's on the home page. There's only 14 errors. You know they can definitely take care of that. So, so yeah, Tosi, if they did optimize, and they have a lot of you know big clients, and they probably have other means to market their business. But when I looked at the search engine in Saudi. In fact, what you can also do, I can go to Google, right? I can go to Google and let's see. Uh, go to Google. Right? Then after this, I can go to settings or so settings right here. And in the settings, I can change the region. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. I can change the region, and now I can do the search. But most people in Saudi, they type in Arabic, you know what I mean? But if I type in English, so the couple of ads. Uh, oh, it's, why this is still not, uh, one second, it's supposed to change, let me go back and change it again, maybe it didn't reflect. Save. Save. Okay. All right, and uh, maybe I need to log out. Try Google.com. Okay, that's a good point. That's a good point. That's a good point. Typically, when I switch the setting, it will take me. Yeah, sign me out. Okay, digital. Still, I'm not logged in. Oh, because the location here. <coughs> I'm not logged in.
nope, it's not pulling up. I don't know why it's forcing me to, uh, maybe it's my browser, it's not letting me. Because the other day I was training a student in uh, Dubai and she was working on a project to write a a paper on a, on, a, on a university for some sort of marketing strategy. So when I was searching from my side and she was searching from her side, it wasn't, it was not the same result. Then I switched, I went to the setting and I switched to Dubai and both of us got the exact same thing. So I'm not sure why it's not working here. Okay. Uh, let me go back and put it to how it was. Uh, okay. All right. So do you have any question about this, uh, digital uh marketing agency do you have any question i mean i love their design they need to do a little bit of tweak here and there but they're very creative they have a huge team as you can see i mean that's the founder right here then you got the business developer director graphic designer studio manager uh brand strategist so yeah they have a huge team which means uh you know look at look at the clients too i mean some of these, like a uh, client we know, they're big companies, Qatar Airways. So these folks, they do pay, <coughs> pay a lot. If anyone out there is still using label or table table for layout, I am going to freak out. <laughs> All right, let me go. Let's go into HF. Are you still around in Periscope? Are you still there? Let me go ahead and check your website. Paradise Total Auto Care. Alright, guys. Paradise. Paradise. I don't care. Alright. Table, similar tags. Okay. Alright, let's check out uh, Paradise Total Auto Care. Okay. Bam! There's a, <laughs> there's like a, there is a, what do you call it? A pop up. Uh, we are open Monday to Saturday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. All right, let's see the address. Good, because we went to go there, so that's very smart to have the address on the top because the nature of the business, the time, and the phone number. Good job. I love the logo, really nice, one color. I uh, love the background here about us, our services, uh, coupons, review us, contact us, make an appointment. An auto detailing service, 100% hand wash. Contact us. Service you can trust, San Antonio's best auto detailing company. Uh, you got to make this text bigger. My recommendation, 14 pixel to 18 pixel. Enlarge the text a little bit, okay? Uh, services. I like that. These, I like that. How you the the what do you call it? The the buyer's persona. Now you have the the flow of the buyer's journey. So you basically, when we when we look at it, we know automatically it's for auto detailing. Just right off the bat, we can see that's what it is. But the thing with the above the fold, this text here is supposed to come a little bit up right there. Okay, not not because this this whole thing the 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 banner is too big. If you can just kind of, if this is a banner this way, you gotta just bring it a little bit like this. Okay. That way, that way we can see the other pages by scrolling, like the services, like what you provide, picture, make this a little bit bigger, get rid of the dead space right here, and let's see, the product you use, subscribe for a special offer, very good, I like you have all the pages here, appointment, everything looks nice, the address, Sunday are closed, but you forgot to add terms of service, oh, I know this company, GCE SEO, okay, all right, design is great. But you need to have uh, what you call it, uh, legal disclaimer, privacy policy, terms of service. I love the design. I love the the pages and everything looks nice. Just my only suggestion is if you can, instead of having this very wide billboard, just kind of bring it like that. That's it. But everything else looks nice, okay? you got the, uh, the HTTPS, beautiful. So let's go ahead. The first thing we need to do is check your ranking, okay? Let's check the ranking. Are you serious? Chad is like, what the heck? Okay. 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 Who's that? I'm like, what is this? Hey, hey. 
I'm like, what is this? Why are you running? Um, let's see. Let's see. Okay. So in the U.S., 355 keywords bringing traffic to your website. So let's see what are those. De uh, Paradise Detailing San Antonio. So the brand is established. That's what people are typing that. They're searching for you. Paradise Auto Detail. Uh, paint Correction San Antonio. Eh? Okay. Paradise Total Care. Uh, mobile RV Wash San Antonio. Wow, look at that. So you're, so the company that SEO that helped you, they, they did a good job from the design perspective and also from the the buyer's journey flow. And uh, look, your SEO is working for you. These are all brand name, but some of them are like keyword based, like, you know, mobile RV wash. They're looking for somebody who's going to wash a mobile RV car, uh, trucks, right? Trucks or a car. I mean, what do you, if I call it that. Uh, let's see. Paradise Auto Care. Paradise Total. Paradise, 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 Paradise. Okay, hand wash. There you go. Hand wash San Antonio. You're on the first page of Google. Ceramic window, taint San Antonio, interior car cleaning. Yes, your SEO is doing very good. Full service car wash San Antonio. Yeah, you have a lot of keywords that are bringing you on the first page. So yeah, your SEO is good, my man. Okay, so this is a good plugin for somebody to come to your place. Anybody who wants to have their car cars detailed with some extra amazing services? Let's check it out. What are the first services you got? Let's see. Auto detailing, protective film. Look at that. Very, very nice. Uh, odor removal, headlight restoration, uh, uh, boat detailing, RV, window tent, make ready service, and ceramic coating, paint cor correction. You know, I didn't get paid for this, but I wish you all the success. <laughs> okay. So uh, maybe I should come to your place and uh, uh, help me with something. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Yeah, folks, seriously, I, I'm not getting any commission for this. I'm just helping a business, a local business. You know, want to see all the businesses succeed and do good. I'm all about helping businesses. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Domain name is too long. What do you think? Uh, let's see. The Paradise Total Auto Care. Well, if if Auto Care is one, I think Auto. Hey, Charlie, is Auto Care one word? It's one word, right? Auto Care is one yeah. word. Yeah, it's a three. It's a three word. So, so Paradise Total Auto Care. It's a three word. So, my recommendation: not more than three. Okay. Number two. Yes, it might sound sound long, but that's the name of the business, which is Paradise Total Auto Care. So the domain, it's the same. So I like that. And 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 three. It's already doing very good organically in terms of the brand is established. The SEO is very good, so there's no point of um, uh, completely changing. Because sometimes, even if you don't follow the same rules, if if it ranks you, it brings you the customer and whatnot, keep it up. So in the social, the only thing is the the the, the, the Facebook.com doesn't say Paradise uh, Total Auto Care, so the link is different, but the brand name is the same. So that's a uh, one problem right there. Uh, let's see Instagram. You have a Google My Business page as well. Very good. What you can do also, you can bring the Google My Business page reviews somewhere on the top of the page. I know it says review us. Let's see. Maybe it's right here. <clears throat> it basically takes me to the Google My Business page. 4.3. That's not bad at all. In fact, that's really good. That's almost like more than 80% uh, happy customers. Paradise uh detail yeah so it looks like with your social you're not keeping the same name i wish that the social was close to your uh brand name you know what i mean your domain paradise total auto care then i would i would love if the if the facebook and the instagram got the same exact name for the brand consistency right and the other thing if you ever decide to change that on your Instagram or Facebook, then just make sure the first letter of the word is, has to be capital, like you know, capital P, capital T, and capital A. So it can be easy on the eye. Right now, it's not easy on the eye. So it should be P capital here, and D capital, then C O capital. Make sense? So, yeah. So you are doing very good on the SEO part, but let's check and see uh, maybe you have customers who ha experience or disability 
they need to you need to make sure that your website is built for people with disability as well right we don't want to we do want to help them too we, we, they have the same right like anybody else so this is something like a lot of people don't focus on so i do offer this service where i make your website oh my god look at that 32 contrast error 39 errors 43 alerts 39 a structure problem that just from the home page so every single page you're gonna have these errors that needs to be fixed for people with disability and if you I mean do it for the people with disability right don't worry about the lawsuit though <laughs> so, so, so yeah seriously the, uh, there's a video I put it out there in my Facebook uh, there was a study another study uh, a local uh, TV station did a case on this one or even a small business is getting sued. So this is the tool that the attorney used before they sue somebody, right? So right now you have this tool. It's called wave.webaim.org. You can take it back to your web developer and have them look at it on every single page and fix these issues that some of them are code-based. So let's say here, I click on code and tell me exactly which part of the code this issue is and what it is. Click on reference and explains to me what does it mean. There are things you can fix it by yourself, like going there and tapping the, the content, the text, the writing the information on the alternative text and whatnot. And there are things that devol the developer needs to change it and fix it because it deals with coding. I also like that you have the favicon right here of your logo. Beautiful. Excellent job, whoever built your website and did the SEO for you. Okay. Is it built on WordPress? Let's see. Yes, it's built on WordPress. Beautiful, beautiful. This website is Usified approved. And same thing with the search. But again, make sure you uh, take care of this disability stuff issue so you can also add on the bottom uh, an accessibility disclaimer. Uh, Pop-up don't work for people with disability software. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know. So we can just adjust and tweak that part of the website to make it... Uh, uh, ADA compliant, which is the uh, American with Disability Act compliancy. Okay, and it's up to you. If you don't want to change it, fine. But uh, I do care about them, so uh, let's focus to help them. Okay. The other thing, let's see your speed of the site. Give me a few minutes. Uh, let me know if you have any question about the website. Let me know if you have any question about the Paradise uh, Total Auto Care. Uh, can you get uh, sued for having two errors? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think so. <laughs> two errors. I don't know. But you know, you never know the legal stuff, man. You know, you don't never know the legal system. Um, Four errors top. <laughs> I don't know, to be honest, man. I just focus on making sure that the priority uh, stuff are taken care of. Like the 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 they have a four four software that can, for example, zoom in the side. Uh, if you have a form, make sure the forms the, the the tab on the laptop or this side. When you click the tab, it goes from one uh, empty space on the form and submit. If you have a captcha, you have to explain what it is in the back end. You know. Uh, AMP and progressive web apps are ranking factors. Well, the issue with the AMP, the AMP, so there you go. You have a good speed according to GT metrics. Just a minor adjustment, but it uh, looks good. Uh, so going back to the AMP, though, so the thing with the AMP, when it came out uh, several years ago, they were causing a lot of issues. So uh, with my, some of my customers, it did help with their... Uh, ads and ranking and some of them it didn't it actually it actually caused some issues so on the mobile device uh, what uh, Google says the speed is not good but on desktop it's close so if you want to speed things up there is a way to take this to at least 90 to 100 percent right so work on the speed as well you can talk to the company and see if they can you know tweak it a little bit so now for the AMP I would Use the AMP if you have, if you have a blogging website or if you have like a news based website. That's what the AMP is good for because basically what it does is strips all the uh, you know like the images and heavy files and just focus on the text. So AMP is not for everything. It's not for everybody. Okay. So some of my clients have AMP enabled and some of them completely disabled. 
and now I decided to only use it if you have a news-based website or if you have a content uh, like a blog-based website uh, that gets a lot of traffic and if you want to run an ad for it, you can switch it on. You can, you can use Yoast to switch to AMP. But when you do that, so you've got, you got to make sure when, within a month if anything changes positively, whether it brings you more traffic, if it's uh, ranking or deranking. If you notice that after the AMP was enabled, if the traffic is going down, then go back and disable it, okay? So right now, back in the day when it came out, I used to recommend it a lot, but right now I, I don't I anymore. It just like case-by-case case basis, you know what I mean? Because even if you log into the Google Search Console, Google Search Console will tell you that you, this website is not AMP enabled, you need to enable it, right? So I, I also looked at the organization that are, that are in charge of the AMP. They are making a lot of improvements, so we'll see what's going to happen this year or for uh, in the years to come, okay? So, any more questions? Any more questions, everybody? Any more questions? It is uh, uh, 6.38 p.m. Central Time. Central Time. Any more questions? Are you serious? Uh, let's see. So, make sure you use this tool, okay? I mean, I'm, I'm really... Here's the thing. When you build the website for accessibility, that means regular folks can also have an amazing experience with the website, too. You know what I mean? So don't worry about the lawsuit, Charles. Just start to build it. Uh, and this is going to be a great selling point for you as well. When you build a website, Charles, for your customers, you can offer this additional service and explain to them that user experience matter and the accessibility matter because it does really help with increasing traffic. It does help with the SEO because when Google notices that you're building the site to give people with disability an awesome experience, you can get some boost in that. You know what I mean? Yes, you are most welcome, HF. HF, you are most welcome. <laughs> Let me know if you need anything else, okay? If you need any help, if you're interested into adding the accessibility factor to your website, you know, let me know. But any other than that, your website is good. It's Yusufite approved. I need to put that Yusufite sticker. And the flow is great. Uh, just you need to add some of those security, uh, legal disclaimer pages, or maybe the accessibility if you're interested. And minor tweak on the speed and uh, the social and that's good. If you're running ads, let me know if you, if the same company that help you with the website and SEO, if they're doing the ads for you, great. If they're doing social media ads or if they're doing some other stuff, keep it up with them. Continue. Okay. And if you have any more questions, do let me know. It's me, Henry. <laughs> no wonder I keep saying like, okay, Henry, Flores. Oh, no wonder HF. I'm just going to call you HF, okay? Okay, all right. So, any more question on this subject about the website? That's a very, very good website that Henry Flores, aka HF, okay, uh, put this website right here. Very nice, very nice. Okay, any more question about the website? Any more question about uh, what is this? Can you crack the White House? <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, Charles, I like that. Let's let's go and check it out. I think they have it. I think they should. Let's just go and check it out. If they don't, are you going to close the deal with them? Let's close the deal with them and we're going to split. Okay? Let's split. Let's see. Let's see. That was a good one, Charles. That was a really, really good one. It says access denied. <laughs> it says access denied. Uh... Charles, uh, let's see. You don't have permission. Hmm. Access denied. What else we can use? Let's see. Access denied. But look, there's a problem here. The following applied to the language of the document is not identified. Look, there's one problem right there. Reference. <laughs> there's one problem already. Uh, no page regions. But it's not allow allow allowing us to pull more data. So let's try something else. Let's try... Let's try. Let's go and analyze the uh, the WhiteHouse.gov website. What are what are the, I don't know. They they maybe they're blocking. Maybe they're blocking us to analyze it. Let's use this one here. Uh, what is this? Hey, if you can tag them, if you can tweet, how about this? Just tweet to them and tell them, yo, you got some problems here, and I have a solution for it, and see if they can contact us. And let's go ahead and. You know, give them the best service ever, and but let's charge them like a probably 
quarter million dollars to uh, do the accessibility. Why not? They got the money, right? <laughs> uh, let's see. Yep, there you go. There's some errors right here. Uh, should be you leaving, bro. Yeah. When you finish, can uh -huh. you just swap that chair with this one? Yeah. And then just take that one to the. Oh, so, absolutely, yeah. Thank yeah, you. the place looks nice, man. Better. No, it'll get better. Yeah, i got to put some signs. So, uh, yeah, let me look. There's some issues. Uh, should image be marked as a decorative? Uh, look, all this bold used to format. Yeah, there's some problems. That's just for the home page. Okay. Uh, if you go to this one here, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Yep, I figure I can't believe. It. I mean, they're supposed to have this thing. I mean, I know most of the the U.S. government sites have the accessibility. Most of them. I mean, I, I'm sure they do. If I scroll down, they have the privacy policy, copyright policy. Get involved. But yeah, I don't see the. Um, oh, I'm so, this is interesting. Yeah, they have issues. Look at that. That issues. Thirty eight problems. Forty five issues. Yeah. Okay, Charles. Let's go and tweet. Tag them. Tell them, yo, what's going on? Share this link in your tweet and tell them uh, you, you have some accessibility issue. Don't you care? Huh? It's a federal law, man. You can go to that ADA, the American with Disability Act. Share that link with them and tell them you got to take care of this. You know what I mean? And don't worry. I'll help you. So if they get in touch with you, Charles, talk to me. Let's go ahead and do this. And uh, I find it's fine. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm saying this live. Let's, you know, go ahead and see how we can help them and see how much they can... Uh, pay us and help us and you never know they might become our uh, ongoing client you never know anything is possible right just take that action make sure you tweet i'm not joking make sure you tweet this maybe you can even tweet the president <laughs> okay then hey man you, you do this every day we find some problem we want to help want to fix want to give it back you know to the american people right go ahead and do it yeah let's do it man you just close the deal and i'll do the work <laughs> Okay, so this is a proof. Our conversation here live, it is a proof, okay? If you can get, get their attention and they close the deal, I'll help with the contract and papers and all that. If you get it, I'll, I'll do the work, okay? We'll do the work and let's split. Okay, no joke, man. For real. I'm so serious. Okay. What the heck was that, man? You just gave me a heart attack. Sorry. It's okay. That was like a thunder or like a, like a, like a, like a I don't know. It's like the demon day is coming, right? <laughs> yeah. That was like, what the, what? Ask, ask uh, your audience. I should have I, I I said like, are you serious? I should have said that, right? <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Okay, this was very good. So don't forget, folks, Sunday. No, Charles, I'm serious, man. I'm serious. Go tag. Go to the Twitter. Go to the Facebook. Tag them in a professional way. Love your website. So sweet. But I just found there's a problem with this accessibility. You know what? I guarantee you they have an agency that actually <laughs> probably do their stuff. So worst case scenario, they're going to talk to their agency and they're going to fix it. But hey, at least you brought it up. You never know. If they, you know, if they hire us, then it's great, right? And here's another tip, though. If you can use, um, let me show you one thing. If you can use uh, backlink tools and drop that link and see if you can find any of the 404 or four, four or four error pages. And you can tell them, yo, you got a lot of 404 error pages. We got to fix this, right? And here's the solution. There, brother. So don't just tell them there's something broken, but tell them, okay, there's something broken. And this is how you, you are going to, you're going to fix it. Or this is how it, it can be fixed. Makes sense? So give them the solution or tip of the solution. And then they will appreciate it. Even if they don't, let's say, hire us, fine. At least they knew, they know who brought the attention. Then other people, when they see your comment, guess what? They're going to probably talk to you. Hey, I saw that you trying to help this thing. Looks like you are the person who work with sites and uh, digital and whatnot. Do you see what I'm saying? I mean, you never know. You never know what's going to happen. But the first step is that we got to take that action. Yes, sometimes I throw jokes, but some of the jokes could be uh, beneficial. You know what I mean? So do that. And if you want to tag me, tag me too on Twitter. Okay? Tag me in your conversation. <laughs> so I can so I can come and say, oh yeah, man, this thing needs some help. This thing, this thing is messed up, right? It has to be fixed. 
So I'm just going to come and be the, the devil's advocate or the uh, instigator. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. Hey, Khaled, salam alaikum, bro. What's going on, my man? How you doing, man? I've been worrying for you, man. What happened? Where you been? Where have you been? For your business ideals. All right, 6.47 p.m. Any more question about our website? Do you all have any more question about what else you need to look for, what else you need to adjust? Khalid, I know you were planning on building a business. I'm not sure it's for your photography. If you are here, feel free to ask, my man, so I can go ahead and spill the beans and tell you what you need to... Uh, what's the... Do, 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 do. Okay, uh, Khaled, if you have any question, ask. So say a good way of getting new clients. Just wondering, do you get clients like that? I get clients from uh, other clients referring. I would I get clients through ads. I get clients through social. I, I sometimes get, I get clients from here, from the live streaming, uh, through the meetup, uh, through organic. Me I mean, the different ways that I get. I wouldn't say client. I would say leads first. Then I try to basically... Uh, study their business, meet with them, uh, find out what they need. Uh, because sometimes not every leads are qualified, though, see, right? There are some leads that actually uh, not a good fit for my company. I mean, what I mean by that, they're not going to be able to pay what I'm going to charge or uh, it's a brand new business. A lot of the time, you know, it's a risk because brand new, especially if they don't have enough funding to invest in marketing, it's not going to work for you in the long term, right? So I look for customers that have been in business for like, you know, six, seven, or ten years or more. And we basically look at their uh, needs and challenges. Like, what's their goal? Like, what do they want to achieve? If they want to increase more sale for their products or if they want to increase more uh, services for their customers, so we focus on that, right? So, so we focus on the objective of what they want first. Then we come with a plan in terms of marketing and how soon they want it. If they want something like in a short period of time, then we basically focus on running Google ads, being advertising, or the social media ads. If they want to build a brand in, in, in the long term, let's say the business is doing good, but they want to eventually be the number one, let's say, in a specific state or a location or a county or a city, then we do the, the social media organic marketing, the search engine optimization, monthly SEO optimization techniques, so we can rank them for specific relevant terminologies that the audience are looking for, Right. And eventually make them be on the first page so they can get the customer they need. But not just that, we also focus on conversion. So when a website visitor hits the website, how can we convert that visitor into a buyer of a product or a service, right? So you do have to qualify them. You know what I mean? Then you decide if you want to hire them or not. There are some leads like this month, I got a couple of good leads and I got some of them like, you know, we talked, we looked and it's not a good fit and I... Throw the estimate. If they don't follow up, great. I'll move on. Look for somebody else, right? So that's that's my way of doing things. I don't follow up more than like probably three is maximum. After that, I that's it. I move on. You know what I mean? But you do have to qualify them though. I look. Uh, I, I, I I took a screenshot of the errors. Very nice, Charles. Don't forget to tag me. <laughs> okay, tag me on Twitter. Uh, so to see if that's how you do it. You basically. Uh, if they come to you, understand who they are, what type of business they're in, and ask them questions like, you know, what are the most challenges that you're facing right now? Uh, how many customers do you get every month? Uh, like the average, give me an average number. How many customers do you get? And what do you want to achieve? For example, how many customers do you want to add or do you want to get? Right? This is the question you need to ask. What is the value of the lead? If they say, well, each value of a lead is like 100 dollars and how much it's going to cost you or it's going to benefit me like it's going to bring me a profit of let's say a thousand then you have to do that take that into math also you have to take that into consideration so you don't want to just build the side you got to focus on how to build a, a, a whole business solution so they can benefit because when your client benefits and their business does very well and they get the leads and they increase their profit they're going to keep you in the book they're going to still pay for, pay for you Make sense? So that's why you have to qualify them. And there are some basically, you know, not a, not a good fit. And also learn how to say no. You can't say yes to everybody. Okay? Okay? I had this one conversation just last week. This one uh, uh, agency, you know, want to hire me just to manage their 
Facebook ad and I give them the prices because they wanted, let's say, this many views and this many subscribers. We did the research and we find out if you want, let's say, uh, 30 uh, students to sign up with this agency, you got to spend at least 2000 with the ad and you got to pay us like 500 something. If they say no, well, okay, then you're not going to get what you need, then you're wasting time. Make sense? Ali, would you like to talk about how Google ranks website? I mean, that's like a... Yes, I mean, that's like a whole, whole big uh, session on that one. So if I can simplify it, Google says that there is a 200 plus factors that rank the website, right? So there are things called on-page SEO, the stuff that you do on the back end of the website. And there are things that, that you do it outside the website, which is like, you know, distributing your content on a relevant side outside of your website from different channels, different properties. So there are many, many factors, but they're not going to tell you what are 90% of those factors? The only thing they are going to tell you is that just do the on-page or do some of the off-page, okay? So understand that the Google bots, Google Spider or Google Crawler, the functionality of this bot is to travel the internet or move around the internet. It's like the spider. They call it spider because they jump from one page to another. Makes sense? When, while it's doing this, the spider reads everything. It reads the codes. It reads the text goes through everything except it cannot read the images, but it can see what it is, right? Then it indexes all those information on the index server, right? And based on those so-called ranking factors or the signals, when somebody is looking for, you know, yoga near me, and in a split of a second, that result shows up, okay? So there's so, so, so many factors that can actually help you with ranking and not just one way. They're like probably, if, if Google says like more than two decades ago, They've been saying like there's 200 factors. I believe it's actually more than 200 factors. Lisa, what's going on? Thank you for tuning in. Where do you go to research how much you need to spend to get the result you want on Facebook ad? Excellent question. So first, when you go to Facebook ad manager, first you do the uh, inside research to find what kind of audience exists in, let's say, your, your locale, in, your, in, in the location for your niche and business and whatnot, right? Secondly, when you go and create the ad, it will tell you. It will tell you how many potential reach that this ad will be shown based on how much money you're spending, right? If I want to get, uh, let's say, same example, if I want to get 50 leads, that means, let's say, maybe 10,000 people are going to see the ad. Now, in the advertising industry or the online advertising industry, we have a, this specific number. We call it like 2% is the minimum. So there's going to be a 2% conversion. That What that means is that for somebody to take an act or click on the ad or submit a form, they have to see the ad anywhere between eight to ten times. So when the ad shows up eight to ten times, that that money got used up. And the last one for the uh, applying to the ad itself makes sense. So all that information you can estimate it from doing the research, and also when you're running the ad, you can see what's happening, right? If you put like twenty bucks, what's the potential reach and what's the potential uh, cost per click, right? But in the click, you have to make sure that you have to go through 10 clicks to make the conversion, right? So if the potential reach is 500 and the potential click is, let's say, 20, that means there is a chance you're only going to get two leads. Does that make sense? You have to do the basic math when you look at this information. So that's how we do it. These are all guesstimation, estimation, okay? So we estimate based on the numbers, based on how much fee you want to add. But the, the question we ask the clients, we don't ask the clients how much money you want to invest. We ask the clients, how many customers do you want? How many leads do you need to generate? How many subscribers do you want to get into the, the list? So, for example, <clears throat> this weekend, the last weekend and Saturday, one of my clients run a seminar, right? And their, their objective was uh, running the Facebook ad. We did a, a story ad, we did a video, and we did an image on the on the, on the news feed and uh, we put a a cap up to two thousand dollar cap that's the two thousand limit because if you want to, uh, if you when we did the research if you want uh, 200 uh, what you call it leads you have to spend at least based on our research four grand but they don't have the four grand they want to try with the two thousand so we put a cap on two thousand expecting maybe a hundred to hundred twenty uh, lead to capture and luckily i believe we captured close to like 160 or 170 leads under the 
2000 not more than 2000 and it, it was it was not it was not exactly 2000 less than 2000 and we did get 170 leads from running the ad okay so when we put the estimation that doesn't exactly mean this is what's going to happen but at least it's a safe spot this means at least this is what we're going to get so you have to go with the with the lowest number possibilities right so i hope i answered your question lisa Okay, are there any more questions about this subject? It is 6.58 p.m. Central Time, right here in San Antonio, Texas. Um, let me know if you have any more questions. Uh, we have to think about the potential legality start, uh, regarding tooting <laughs> the government. <laughs> hey, you know, in business, we learn one thing in business. You take action, you say, say, then you say sorry later. You're most welcome, Lisa. Uh, this weekend on Sunday, I'm going to talk about ADA. I'm going to talk about the, no, I'm going to actually not ADA. I think I'm going to talk about ads. I think I'm going to talk about ads this weekend. Just let me, let me check. This Sunday, I'm going to possibly talk about ads in general, the importance of the ads. Think about the potential legalities regarding to hitting the government. Now, don't, don't be scared, man. Just say that, hey, I found this issue, you know, flexibly, you know, can you look into it? You know, I, I appreciate it. Uh, and just give the website, you know, say like, you know, you, you do enjoy learning from the website, uh, but we have to think about people with disability. But don't say the website doesn't work very well. Just say that I found, uh, you know, an issue with this. Can you look into it? Just keep it like that. So Sunday 10. Yes, I'll talk about ads this Sunday at 4 p.m. It's going to be live. No risk, no reward. Yeah, man. That's just uh, that's how we do business, man. So I would be interested in the best time day to lunch and add. Uh, I would be interested in the best time day to lunch and add. You see, the, there is no best time to lunch because when you lunch the ad, the ad's going to keep running. If you lunch it at night, it's going to be running for 24 hours. And it also depends how much money you're spending. If you only spend like 10 bucks, if the 10 bucks is used up, the ad's going to stop. Make sense? So... There's, there's, there's no time frame because Facebook will do its best to show the ad to the target audience. The algorithm will show it to them. Do you see what I'm saying, Lisa? So you don't have to worry about that. So just run it and it's going to run 24 hours and, and Facebook is going to show the ad to, to, to the interested audience that you're targeting anytime they're going to, they're going to look at it. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Lashanda said, okay, I'm there. So don't forget 4 p.m., Sunday, I'm going to talk about ads in general, like, you know, the Bing ads, Google ads, social media ads, why they're important, what areas you need to look for and think about, but nothing specific. If you guys want something specific, you need to let me know so I can have my business partner uh, have another session with me to talk about the specific ad platform. So that is going to be Sunday, p uh, Sunday 4 p.m. on my Facebook. Uh, yeah, it's going to be on my Facebook because he's streaming it uh, through uh, StreamYard on his Facebook. So it's going to be on my Facebook. Okay? All right. So thank you so much, y'all, for being here tonight. Uh, don't forget, have an awesome weekend. Stay productive. And if y'all have any more questions, send them to my DM. And I'll definitely see you all back on Monday. And if y'all enjoyed watching this live streaming, you know, do me a favor. Don't be stingy. Just go ahead and share and invite your awesome friends who want to learn and tag them. And uh, that's about it. Bye-bye for now.